Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TEVA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, if you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer a quick explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I will explain in detail. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. The vast majority though came in this afternoon. Uh, volume just came pouring in. Price had a, a very impressive movement to the upside. Did pull back a little bit, but overall, still a lot of updates here need to be done since the last uh, you know analysis I did, which is where these green and red lines are coming from. Before anything else, though, we're gonna do a little house clean and get rid of these lines. Sure, those levels still pertain, they're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So let's try to map out some levels of support and resistance moving forward. First key level, or really the first key update that needs to be done comes about this key level here at $8, which going into today was a level of resistance, but now that the price is broken above it, you would wanna see it act as support. And so far, so good. In fact, you could throw this right into a textbook uh, because like I said, this is an area that you would wanna see act as support. And you can see all afternoon long, did a great job of holding that support. So $8 is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, say, Clay, what make this chart look the best going forward? Certainly if the price can stay above $8, but it's not like if the price falls below there, that implies that everything's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a big sign of power. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play. The 50 period, simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line here is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the move, that right there is how I am defining the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $8 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance moving forward? Initial level of resistance, keep an eye on, gonna be right there at $8.60. And then if the price can push up through $8.60, nothing fancy or complicated there other than the fact of where the party finally stopped today. And that was right up there at $8.95. So all in all, anyway, look at it. Great movement today, great volume. And not just a question going forward of can the bulls build upon this momentum? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.